A house engulfed in flames, but neighbors say it started with an explosion. Now, arson investigators are looking into whether it was set on purpose. Welcome to the Fox 11 News at 5, simulcast on our sister station, Fox 11 Plus. I'm Christine Devine. I'm Alex Michelson. Firefighters battle massive flames and smoke coming from a house following that explosion. Fox 11's Christopher Hart, live for us in Monrovia with more. Christy. Yeah, Alex and Christine Monrovia police say that this is now an arson investigation. And take a look, investigators were here for about 24 hours. You can see there was a damage to the house next door as well. But the shell of this house was so dangerous to enter that investigators had it bulldozed before they left. Oh my God! Cell phone video captured the bright red intensity of the flames. The neighbors tell us it started with an explosion that rattled homes along the 600 block of Colorado Boulevard. We just heard the explosion very loud and my girls were scared. It was a loud boom. My ears were ringing. Yeah. It was loud. It was definitely loud and it, it was engulfed in flames. It was done. Tim Price's ring camera shows the aftermath on Tuesday afternoon. He says he was taking in his garbage cans when he heard the blast and was glad to learn oh no one was in the home. Flames are out of the windows, the front. It didn't slowly burn. It burnt fast. Price says there was nothing they could do as the fire also spread to the house next door. The roof so badly damaged, it too had to be red tagged. In fact, somebody was in next door that uh, ended up going out the back, so it all, everybody seemed to be safe. The owner of the house at the center of the flames was back at the scene a day later. His neighbors tell us he has lived here almost all his life and has suffered a double tragedy. Owner, he lost his mom about five months ago that uh, him and his brother and stuff own the house now, and it, uh, he's a like person. And neighbors tell us there was another man who also lived in the house for about 10 years. He wasn't home yesterday, and they say he hasn't been back. And yesterday, the fire chief confirmed that a man that they were calling a tenant was unaccounted for, and they were trying to find him. Live in Monrovia, I'm Christy Pajardo. Let's send it back to you.